Hey guys, it's Nicole. I wanted to chat with you today about the Team Beachbody Cup. So let me talk to you a little bit about it um, because some people that have done it before and some people that are new, you know, I just want to kind of get it out there for you. So they announced it on the national wake up call yesterday that the Team Beachbody Cup is starting October 1st. So you can begin registering your teams now through September 30th. Okay, and there should be a yellow Thing under breaking coach news that says register your team cup teams here so it's not that hard to do you need your um, you need the name and the coach ID and the email of all of your coaches that are going to be on the team so here's the idea the idea is for it to be a fun contest get you kind of up and running again get you excited something to work for uh, they give away bags and I don't even know blenders and t-shirts and you know all sorts of fun prizes the prizes it doesn't even matter what the prizes are it's just the idea of being part of something so here's the thing I know in the past people just get thrown on a team or they jump on a team and then they have no intention of committing to it so please listen to yesterday's national wake-up call because she talks in it about being committed so you have four other people that you're committing to pulling in points for okay so I know that I've been on a few teams before and I'm the only one making any points and that's not fair um, so you know and then that person who gets all of the points doesn't get the prizes because everybody else on the team has to get points too so really think about it don't get on a team unless you're gonna be committed for the entire month of October committing to the three vital behaviors and hitting success club that's it it's not like you have to do anything extra you just have to commit to the three vital behaviors and hit success club and you're gonna get points um, you get points for rank advancements you know all sorts of stuff so there's lots of different ways to get points but honestly it comes down to the three vital behaviors five days a week just like I posted in the team page easy to do easy not to do honestly don't try to reinvent the wheel and do all these sorts of crazy things do the three vital behaviors be a product of the product invite share follow up and do personal development that's it that's all you have to do every day okay so um, let me just give you some statistics here coaches who participated in the cup generated six times more volume than coaches who did not coaches who participated in the cup had 12 times more rank advancements than coaches who did not Coaches who participate in the cup had 10 times more in earnings than coaches who did not. Okay? So you gotta, you gotta just get on a cup team. So here's how you get on a cup team. There can only be one lifetime rank of diamond on the team. You don't have to have a diamond on the team, but there can only be one lifetime rank. So if you were diamond a year ago and you're about to get back in the business, you can't be on a team with a current diamond or you know if two diamonds were diamonds a year ago you can't be on the same team okay so one lifetime rank of diamond you do not have to have a diamond that means one star diamond too so one diamond or above is the only one that can be on the team so ultimately what you want to do is you want to look at your downline get a team going and see who's willing to kind of you know work together and kind of get some things going some excitement some prizes all that sort of stuff um, and that's pretty much it. You pick a captain and you pick a team pay, uh, team name. I would recommend opening a secret Facebook group, doing a team call um, once a week for like 15 minutes and going over some stuff. So again, you know, raise your hand if you want to get on a team, reach out to your coach, look who your star diamond coach is, reach out. If you're going to be diamond this month, don't register with another diamond on the team because they're going to make you change it on October 1st. So if you know that you're really close to diamond and you're going to be diamond by September 30th, please don't get yourself on a team with another diamond. All right? Let me know if you have any questions. Um, the star diamonds on the team are going to set some goals on how many teams they want to get out there and just uh, get this, get, let's change some lives and we can earn some stuff along the way. Okay? Have a good day.